in this frame, um, point A is a hinge support, point B is a roller support. So therefore, point B is allowed to translate horizontally. Now the, the connection between beam and columns are again rigid. So now if we apply a horizontal force at this point of the column, then we'll see how that deform. Now we look at the left hand side column first. Point A is a hinge support, so rotation is permitted. So therefore, this column deforms into a single curvature, and no contraflexural point along this column. And for the beam, it deforms also into a single curvature, no contraflexural point. For the right hand side of the column, we will need to look at a bit carefully. Between the rigid joint and the horizontal load, there is a tiny curvature here, one curvature. And again, no contraflexural point. But below the horizontal load, all the way to the support, actually, this part of the column remain straight. This is because point B is a roller support. So we have a vertical reaction, which goes through the column before deformation. And if the force goes through the member, it will not produce any moment up until this point where the load is applied. So this part of the column does not have any bending moment within it. Therefore, this part of the column does not deform into a curvature. So within the whole frame, there is no contraflexural point anywhere. Now we look at the two rigid joints. Before deformation, they were 90 degree between the beam and the columns. And after deformation, the 90 degree angle should still remain.